Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of what happened in the Champions League this midweek. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much but I have to say it was a easy to pick the team that I'm wearing because there was only one winner through the entire round. And uh, despite there being some teams in there that I actually like, I have to say I don't see any of the eight teams that played in the midweek going on and win the Champions League. It's maybe a hot take or whatever, but I just, I literally cannot see it. Uh, maybe the one team that has a teeny tiny chance potentially is Chelsea, uh, but I also don't see it with them quite some. So yeah, um, let's look into it. I mean, it was, it was an, in, it, it was, it, it were interesting games. It was competitive. I mean, what I, what was lacking the last time around was that two games are already decided and so coming up uh, on the return legs we don't see uh, you know that too many exciting fixtures so at least we have this here these uh, these four games are potentially one could call them the lesser games of the round on the other side uh, at least all of them are still competitive so give and take uh, Let's run through them. I mean, I saw some of them, but I, it, it's really not too much that I can tell you in most of these cases. I have to say, I mean, Chelsea against Lille uh, was more, was more went the way it should and probably, probably it should have been a higher scoreline in many ways. Havertz giving uh, Chelsea the early lead uh, with a, a really nice uh, play attack. Ziyech really becoming uh, a linchpin up front. And of course, uh, Chelsea playing without Lukaku. After only seven, seven touches, he seemingly is tired, according to coach Tuchel. Uh, be it as it may, I think you really need to pick the team that you think is the best team. And so uh, even if you paid a lot, yeah, so be it. Uh, also, I find it interesting that, you know, last season it was Werner and Harvard who where all the heat was on because there was so much money paid, who was slowly growing into the team. And now Lukaku is the big signing and everyone is expecting tons from him. And I think the pressure is getting to him. Uh, I guess the way that Chelsea gets their signings to perform better is to sign an even bigger player uh, for more money. And that way you are going to, uh, to have them perform. I mean, there were, I, th I think towards the end of the first half and maybe a bit late, late, late in the game, there were chances for Lille there. I actually was a little bit disappointed. I would have loved to see Lille play maybe in an all red outfit, not in white, but you know, uh, I think it was all right in that, that sense. Pulisic then uh, in a counter again, it was all N'Golo Kante, uh, makes it 2 0, and that settles the game. And Chelsea probably can rule a little bit the fact because you know two nil uh with no away goal rule and so on is not a result that is super super safe but now on, on the churches it was clearly the uh, the better team on the day so maybe in that sense uh it looks fine but you know we have we have seen two nils being overturned by a rockers crowd uh which may happen i'm not saying it will happen but it may it may happen uh there uh, more entertaining was the Villarreal Juventus uh, game, but uh, first of all, Vlaovic with the perfect Champions League debut. I think Holland uh, took longer uh, when he played for himself. Vlaovic within seconds, within the first minute, uh, scores the first goal. It, 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 it was a true strike, striker goal. I think he takes two touches uh, before he puts pull, puts in the net, and then Juventus actually was for uh, quite a time the better team on the pitch. However, Villarreal fought themselves back into it, uh, tried to uh, create and got then in the second half a uh, deserved equalizer through Parejo. I think the longer the game went on, uh, the more you could worry for Juve. And yeah, maybe the one disappointment is that as great as the Vlahovic debut was, I mean, uh, two touches and you make a goal. Uh, the in the long run it was a little bit missing but you know this was uh, it looked the, this Juventus team looks better than it did before so yeah but uh one one I think you will, will be happy with that but I think it's a super dangerous result for the return like was, was, wasn't wasn't it something like that uh, against Porto as well where you thought after the first game yeah you should, should do this and then eh, maybe not so 
hold your horses, but I I have the feeling that uh, you can manage this hurdle if they just stay within themselves on the other side. Villarreal is a super dangerous team. Uh, it's a team that I can see make a go in the quad, quad, quad for the final finals easily and continue Juve's uh, trouble with easy draws uh, in the Champions League. Now, as for yesterday's games, uh, Atletico Madrid against Manchester United. I mean, what, what, what I said, those two teams surely will not win the Champions League. Uh, Ahead of the game, it was all that they saw Manchester United at least getting something together and Atletico Madrid really look a shell of themselves. It was completely turnaround in the in the in this game where Atletico Madrid in the first half completely dominated Manchester United, scored a wonderful goal from a Lodi uh, cross. Uh, Joao Felice heads it in. I mean that it was something I never saw coming from him. Uh, and created chances and really uh, put United under loads of pressure. They even then, I think it was a deflected shot, later on hit the crossbar. Uh, so Atletico Madrid can definitely be aggrieved there. However, United could also settle the game in a way um, without being too convincing. And then later on, uh, Bruno Fernandes, who has been more or less uh, anonymous, nice pass into Elanga who gets an equalizer. Not sure if it's, it's deserved because then a few minutes later uh, Griezmann also with a really nice shot hits the crossbar. So I think if you're an Atleti fan, you're definitely looking, yeah, we missed out big on here. Uh, because that's a game that Atleti should have won. Um, and United, yeah, uh, that, uh, the, how do I say, the enigma continues. I, it's really hard to uh, gauge where United are at. In many ways so uh, it's it's a head scratcher to me in many ways uh, and then uh, the last game was also a head scratcher because the chances that Ajax had and created they should have also easily won that game however the longer the game went on the more clear it became that Ajax will not win this game and maybe uh, with some uh, bad luck they might even lose it a game they never should have been even uh, should have been a problem uh, Masrawi, I mean, in the, the first half, it was all Ajax. Ajax taking a game team, team. And this is an Ajax team that has destroyed Sporting, who are a stronger team than Benfica. Uh, <laughs> it was ridiculous. Uh, and I think Ajax overplayed. And this is the thing with Dutch teams. If they're getting too cocky, too confident, they overplay. And then you don't know. Uh, and then they, 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 they can easily get caught out. The goal, the first one by Tadic, what a great strike it was. It looked so easy, but this was such a hard ball to take and pull it in it. Wonderful goal. And then Vertonghen, who funnily enough came from the uh, from I uh, was um, in his youth and then uh, started his career at Ajax, almost single-handedly forced the equalizer by uh, having the you know get uh, get, get, get a ball staying in play. Uh, Recovering, putting a cross in, and then Sebastian uh, hits Sebastian Lea and goes into the, in, into the net. Uh, it was so 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 weird that the defender making the offensive action and the striker scoring the goal in his own net. Uh, little uh, topsy turvy. But then Alea uh, just a few few minutes later gets the go ahead goal uh, again because again he against Vertonghen, uh first the shot is saved and then uh, he just gets the foot on it and a little bit luckily goes in. 2-1 Ajax, and you think, yeah, this should be enough. No, it is not, because Ajax uh, a little bit lost control of the game, thought maybe they can easily brush Benfica aside, which is very dang dangerous. And also that Passwehr, who had actually made a few good saves, he made a great save, but uh, the way he stretches out the hand, it falls right back in the path where Jaremczyk can pull it in, in, into the empty net. And honestly... This is, these are two goals that Ajax conceded that can really hurt and bite you in the back. Because those are not goals that you should concede. And you should come uh, come in the front. So, as I said, I think for every game, it's still very much in the balance, but all of the performances were so flawed. Um, yeah. I think we saw the better action definitely uh, last week. So going forward, we take now, of course, a uh, two weeks break from the Champions League because we need to drag out this knockout round. And we come back with Bayern Salzburg and then uh, Liverpool against Inter is the, on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. 
we have a Real Madrid PSG. I don't think City against Sporting is, except that there will be nice goals. So, but you know, uh, there's no drama. And then the week after, we start again with uh, the, the slate uh, Ajax, uh, Benfica, United, Atleti, and then Juve, Villarreal, and Lille, Chelsea will complete the lineup. So, yeah, I um, have not made any competitions yet. I will try to get a stats cast out on the European fixtures a little bit uh, later this week. So bear with me there. Uh, but I assume there will not be too much mentions because all the big hitters uh, have already played uh, previously. I've mentioned it now many, many, many times. In any case, please let me know what you thought about uh, the games. Uh, in this mid, mid midweek, as I said, they were probably more entertaining, but uh, the teams in there were clearly not great. That's how I feel. In any case, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever anything happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!